Hey guys, I am Amit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about abstraction and encapsulation. Encapsulation is defined as the wrapping up of data under a single unit. It is the mechanism that binds together code and the data it manipulates. It is a protective shield that prevents the data from being accessed by the code outside this shield. In Apex, encapsulation is achieved with help of access specifiers or access modifiers like public, private, protected and global. With help of the class, we already bind the data with the code and any member of the class can be encapsulated at various levels using these access specifiers or access modifiers. So encapsulation is wrapping up of data and code as a single unit that we have already done as class. And we have also seen that class have various members inside it. Now with help of access modifiers, we can enhance the accessibility of these members. The four access modifiers which are keywords are public, private, protected and global. Public. This means that the method or variable is accessible by all Apex within a specific package. Private. This access modifier is the default and means that the method or variable is accessible only within the Apex class in which it is defined. Protected. This means that the method or variable is visible to any inner classes in the defining Apex class and to the classes that inherit the defining Apex class. We can only use this access modifier for instance methods and member variables. Global. This means the method or variable can be used by any Apex code that has access to the class, not just the Apex code in the same package or application. If we declare a method or variable as global, we must also declare the class that contains it as global. So if we talk about global and public, any member which is declared as global or which is declared as public can be accessed outside the class. But if the member is public, it can be accessed in the same package itself, the package in which the class is defined. It cannot be accessed outside the package. But if the member is declared as global, it can be accessed even outside the package. So if you want anything to be accessible outside the package, make it global. And make sure if you are making any variable or any method as global inside a class, the class must also be declared as global. If we talk about private, it is the most restrictive access and by default, if you don't provide any access modifier to the member, it will be treated as private. The methods or variables declared as private cannot be accessed outside the class. Now if we talk about protected members, protected members can be even inherited. That means if any member is protected, it can be inherited to a subclass. Now we will talk about inheritance and then we will understand it in more detail. But if any member is protected, it is allowed to be inherited. Protected members can be used by the inherited class or by any inner class. Now inner class is any class declared inside any other class. So if there is a class ABC and another class XYZ inside ABC, then XYZ class can access any protected member declared inside ABC. Now there is a point of caution with global. Salesforce recommends using the global access modifier rarely if at all required as cross application dependencies are difficult to maintain. So make it global only when you are sure about making it global. Data abstraction is a property by virtue of which only the essential details are displayed to the user. The non-essential units are not displayed to the user. Abstraction may also be defined as the process of identifying only the required characteristics of an object, ignoring the irrelevant details. So abstraction means knowing only the essential details about something and without considering the background details of it. For a real life example, a person knows how to drive a car without knowing the internal mechanism of the car. Similarly, a person knows how to operate a computer without knowing the internal mechanism of the system. 
In Apex, abstraction is achieved by interfaces and abstract classes. Now, both these topics are quite beyond the scope of this specific section. So we are not going to discuss about interfaces and abstract classes. That's why we won't see abstraction in much detail. But abstraction is a way of knowing only the essential detail without considering the background detail. And we will discuss about interfaces and abstract classes in a different section, of course. So it's pretty much of talk and now it's time to see the things practically. So guys, here we are on our developer console and now let's create a class to understand encapsulation. So guys, I have created this simple class ENC class one. And here you can see I have declared three data members. The first one is not having any access specifier. So by default, it will be private. I have intentionally provided private access specifier to the second data member and public to the third one. I haven't created any protected or global data member over here. The same kind of access modifiers I have used with these member methods as well. Now let's create another class where we will create object of this class and we will see how these data members can be accessed. So guys, as you can see, I have created this encapsulation class inside this run method. I have created an object of ENC class one and I have tried to access all the three data members and all the three member methods. Now you can clearly see in the problem section that a variable is not visible. B variable is not visible. And if you remember, both of them are private and hence we cannot use it outside this class. The same goes with show one and show two method as they were also private. We can't access it outside the class. Now let's comment them out and let's try to save this program. And now you can see the problem has gone. So it clearly proves that any data member or member method declared as private cannot be accessed outside the class. Now you might be wondering then what is the benefit of having any member method as private? Now to make you understand this, let's go back to our student class. Let's try to create a scenario to understand our purpose of making any method as private. So guys, here we are with our new student program, student program two, where I created objects of student class, three objects. I call the admit method and I call the show result method. Now I have intentionally haven't called the calculate method over here. Now, if you remember, there was a calculate method which was calculating all the things over here. And after admitting the values or after admitting the student, we need to call that calculate method so that we can calculate the total marks, percentage, division, etc. Now, it may happen that the, that the user or that the developer forgets to call that calculate method. Now, let's see what happens in that scenario. So as you can see, I'm calling the run method of the student program two, and let's click on execute. And you can clearly see it is printing the result with the name and the marks, but it is not printing marks obtained percentage and division and all three of them is null for all the students. And this is because the developer forgets to call the calculate method. Now what you can do over here is you can you can make or you can call this calculate method here itself in the admit so that you make the calculate call by yourself and and you remove the headache of the developer to call the calculate method so it always makes sure as soon as the student gets admitted the calculate method is called and everything gets calculated but in that case if you are making the calculate call inside the class itself there is no need or there is no benefit of making this calculate method as public. So what you can do is let's create a new student class and let me explain you over there. So I have created this student two class, which is similar to student class itself. The only thing is here. I made this calculate method as private and I call this calculate method inside the admit itself. Now what you need to do is to create objects of student two class instead of student class. And as soon as you will call the admit method, the admit method will call the calculate itself. The developer needs not to call the calculate method for the calculation. And now if I run this program, I will definitely get the correct result. So there are some scenarios where you want to make some method calls internally to the class and you don't want to make that method available for the developer using the class. So in those situations, you can make any certain method as private and you can make those private method calls inside the class itself. Secondly, making data members is always recommended to be private so that data remains safe and no one accidentally 
changes the data anywhere when they are using the class. So these are the importance of having the members as private. So guys, that marks the end of this video. See you soon in the next video. Till then, thank you and take care.